Hello everyone, this is the Ranger Gamer 06 once again. How's everyone doing today? Today is a game review. Uh, I haven't done a game review in a while, I don't think. I don't remember the last time I did one. I guess I think it was either the Spider-Man, uh, Miles Morales, or the Star Wars Jedi Survivor. I can't remember which one it was. But yeah, uh, I finally finished it two days ago. Final Fantasy 16. Uh, I'll go do it yesterday, but for two reasons. I, uh, the reason I did it is, well, for one, I worked last night. <clears throat> Excuse me. And of course, yesterday was a confirmation from Rockstar that they're reporting Red Dead Redemption for PS4 and Switch, which I'm excited. I know a lot of people are disappointed. There's a lot of videos uh, on YouTube saying how disappointed they are, which I understand that, because it, it's a straight up port, and on the PS4, which, I mean, they said it was playable on the PS5, so, uh, I'm excited, I mean, you know, I'm a huge fan of the game, but anyway, uh, if you haven't watched that video, go watch it, but today, we're talking about Final Fantasy 16, uh, but before I get into this, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, Leave a like and be sure to ring that bell for more videos. Alright guys, let's get into this. So, I bought it. Uh, now of course, I didn't buy it right away. I had to buy, I bought it, uh, a week, a week later because, uh, when it came out, I didn't have the money because I didn't get paid till a week later. So I had to wait a week to get this game, so. Yeah, you know, that, that, that might be a, another reason why this review is a little late. But it came out June 22nd, I, 2nd, I believe. Uh, it is for the PlayStation 5 only. But I wouldn't be surprised if they release it on the PC later. Like what they did with Final Fantasy 7 Remake. So I wouldn't be surprised if they put it on Steam. Who knows, we might get it on Xbox. I don't know, probably not. Because I don't think the Final Fantasy 7 Remake is on the Xbox. But, PC most likely. So anyway, here's the cover. Very nice. There's the spine. Of course, I bought this brand new at Walmart. So, uh, you can still buy it. You know, of course, it's $70. So, you know, that's how much games are in holidays. So, very cool. It says, Fate is red. Red and fire. Break your bonds. Embrace Clive's economic power and summon your destiny. Dynamic action RPG combat and mid icon battles, which is very cool. Uh, dark fantasy world. It's one player, 100 gigabyte. Uh, it supports vibration function and trigger effects supported. It's aimed for mature, for violent, blood and gore. Sexual themes, partial nudity, and strong language. So, yeah, it's weird seeing the F word. There's uh, quite a bit of F word in this. Not a lot, but there's a few here and there. Uh, here's the inside. We've got the disc. And you know how... Uh, Every Final Fantasy title, there's an artwork. Like, you know, for example, you know, Final Fantasy VII has the Meteor. You know, Final Fantasy IX has the Crystal. Final Fantasy VIII has Squall and Renoa Hug. You know what I mean? This is, uh, I believe it's Phoenix and Ifrit fighting. So, very cool artwork. And of course you got Final Fantasy fourteen online. But I never been much of an online player. I never care about online. I'm more of a casual gamer. I just play games for the story. So here's the back. Heaven Sword. And then just your warranty. And 
I dropped it. Alright. Here's the... This right here is like an interchangeable cover. Like, it's got the same spine, same back, but different cover. Very nice. So, you know, if you want to change it out, you have that option. Alright, so that's the box, uh, the case, and the booklet. Uh, let's get into what's about. It, it takes place in a medieval setting, which is really cool because we haven't had it in a long time. Except Final Fantasy XIV, and before that was Final Fantasy XII or XI, and then before that Final Fantasy IX. But yeah, so this goes back to like medieval times. Uh, you know, it, it doesn't have that futuristic setting like seven and eight, and I think fifteen. But it takes place in a world called uh, Valicia. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, and then scatter that two continents. You have ash and storm, and there are these uh, colossal, big crystal called mother crystals, uh, which um, provides uh, ether energy um, to like you know different populations, like cities and towns, uh, and it's you know and it's the civilization of people with mine for the shards. Through like commercial use, uh, and there's humans that can use magic through uh, through crystals, and I think they're called I think these are called the dominant or barrier barriers. I think is what they're called. Um, yeah, barriers, and that's what the main character Clive. Uh, I I almost said Clive Owen. No, Clive Rossfield. That's this guy you play as. That's his brother, uh, Joshua. But yeah, so, there are these barriers that can use uh, icons. I think I pronounced that right. Which is another word for summon. It's kind of like how in Final Fantasy VIII, they're called uh, Guardian Forces, or GF for short. But in this one, they're called icons. Uh, it's a... Uh, and the, and the host that uses it is called Dominant. Again, that's what Clive is. He, he's a Dominant. Him and Joshua. And uh, there are seven of them. And there's Phoenix, Shifa, Ramu, Titan, Garada. Uh, I'm not really familiar with that one. Odin and Bahamut. However, there's a second one that that's also fire. That's Ifrit. And, uh, and Ifrit kind of plays a big role in this game. You know, it drives, you know, it disrupts the balance of the seven icons. So, I don't want to get much to it. I'm, I'm going to try to keep this spoiler free. Uh, sorry if I seem kind of slow. I'm, I'm kind of tired. I got really early this morning. I worked last night. So, forgive me if I, if I sound tired because I am tired. But I want to do this to get this review out. But, uh, yeah, so that's kind of the gist of the story. Uh, kind of a dark story. I wouldn't say this is the first game that's right in for sure. There was a Final Fantasy called Final Fantasy, uh, Type O, I think, or Type Zero, whatever you want to call it. That was right in for mature. So, technically, this is the second Final Fantasy game to be rated in for mature. So, yeah, so you're playing this dominant. Uh, these barriers, which I never understood this, but p apparently people don't like barriers. They see them as corrupt, you know, they treat them like, like, like slaves, you know. Uh, and it's kind of a sad story behind it, because, you know, if they use too much magic, they slowly become petrified, and they die from it, you know. So it's really a really sad story, but it's a good story. Uh, and... This is, was a really neat experience because I haven't played a new Final Fantasy game in a long, long time. The last, the latest Final Fantasy game that I played in the series goes way back to 2006, Final Fantasy 12. I never played 13, 
Uh, never played Fortnite, but again, like I said, I'm not big on online. And I never played Final Fantasy 15. But then I started seeing this one. I remember I, I downloaded the demo. And I was hooked already. I was already hooked. And I thought, I'm buying this game. And I did. And I don't regret it. It's a, it's a great story. It's deep. Good character. You got Jill, who was a love interest to Clive. Uh, her uh, icon or econ is Shifa. You know, like, a lot of stuff happens, you know. It's kind of like, the best way I can describe this game, the story, it's Final Fantasy meets Game of Thrones. You know what I mean? So, uh, the combat's good. Uh, it's a lot similar to Final Fantasy VII Remake. And I'm assuming Final Fantasy XV. Again, I never played that one. But after playing this one, I'm thinking about playing Final Fantasy XV. Maybe. But, yeah, the, 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 the gameplay, the combat, it's a lot similar to the Final Fantasy VII Remake. The weapons, what's cool about weapons and armor is you get, uh, you gotta find recipes for it. Like, you know, you need, you know, I'm just making this up, like four dragon claws, you know, five, you know, animal skins, whatever, you know. Uh, you know, three dark steels, whatever. And if you have all the ingredients, you can you can get the weapon. So look, look, cool. You, know, you don't you don't just buy it like you do in the previous Final Fantasy game. You, know, you gotta find the recipe for it, you know. So I did manage to get the ultimate weapon for Clive. It was really cool. Uh, one of the, one of my favorite stuff to do in this game is these uh. These monster hunter side quests. It's like it, it, it's on a like a billboard. Now this is later on in the game. Uh, it kind of you know in a way. Now that I think about it, it kind of reminds me of the Witcher games, where there's a contract. You go out there and fight the monster. You kill the monster. Same thing with this one. You fight monsters. And, you know, you get experience points, you know, you get money, you know, you get, uh, rewards. I forgot how many there were, but I did manage to get all of them. Uh, I've already got a trophy for it. The one that gave me trouble was this dragon. Uh, I forgot the name. Start with the S. Uh, now each monster has a rank. The lowest is rank C, rank B, rank A, and then rank S, the highest. So, very rewarding. I recommend doing it. Uh, side quest was, was really fun. I actually enjoyed the side quest. Uh, surprisingly, none of the side quests were boring. They were all fun to play. Uh, very good. I loved it. You know, uh, I know in a lot of RPG games, usually the side quests can be kind of tedious. Not in this one. This was really good. Uh, but yeah, great story, great character, uh, it's dark, uh, like I said, this is not your average Final Fantasy story, uh, and yes, you can run the Chocobo, uh, but I feel like sometimes it was pointless, and this is my little smallest, uh, complaint, uh, yeah, I mean, you do get around faster, but there's so many enemies, and I just end up getting all my chunker ball and fighting. You know, just level grinding. Uh, and this game can be kind of straightforward. Like, you don't have to level grind too much. I mean, as long as you do side quests and you kill all the monsters on the board, you're going to level up just fine. Of course, I feel like eating them up because, like I said, I'm a casual player. So, sorry this review took so long, but... Yeah, great game. I love it. Oh, and one of the things that I love about this game, and this is different. Throughout the game, sometimes Clive will turn into Ifrit. Yeah, these dominants can turn into their summons. And you can turn to a summon and you fight. It's like, it's almost like you're, you're playing a Godzilla game. It's just awesome, you know. Uh, it kind of reminds me of Dragon Ball Z, the way you fight. Uh... 
there was a quick time event, but it's not too bad, you know. Uh, like I said, combat was, combat was awesome. But the item that I equipped, where you did a combo automatically, it was so much satisfying. So yeah, I was just owning the, my, the enemies and the bosses. So yeah, great game. If you enjoy Final Fantasy VII Remake, you're gonna love this game. I probably, if you haven't played this game, go out and buy it. I guarantee you're gonna love it. If you love Final Fantasy, if you love Game of Thrones or any dark fantasy, this game is right up your alley. So go out and buy it. Uh, again, 70 bucks. Maybe you can wait until there's a sale. Up to you. So, anyway guys, that's my, that's my review. Uh, I love this game. Buy it, play it. I think you'll love it. Uh, sorry it took so long. Like I said, I was taking my time with it. Uh, but, you know, because of my work schedule and I'm putting out more my gameplay videos, my, my, my uh, Max Payne videos. But, yeah. Great game. I love it. Uh, it's probably one of my favorite top five pop fashion games. Uh, so, yeah. It, 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 it's very good. It's a good feeling to play a new Final Fantasy game, so I don't regret it. Uh, there's no uh, DLC, uh, to my knowledge. I looked it up the other day. Uh, there's no talks about a DLC. Hopefully we'll get a DLC, because I'll definitely play it if, if it does come out. Uh, but I mean, you know, of course, I prefer, you know, like a store DLC. So who knows? Fingers crossed. So anyway, that is Final Fantasy 16 for the PS5. Again, it might come out for the PC later. I wouldn't be surprised. So anyway, guys, that is it. Thank you for watching. Once again, this is the Virtual Gamer 06. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.